Welcome back to The Gun Collective. My name is John Patton, and it is high time that we tackle the general disarray that is happening in the Old Dominion, better known as the Commonwealth of Virginia. Being that it played a key role in the foundation of our nation, the Virginia flag actually has Lady Liberty trampling on a tyrant, and it says Sic Semper Tyrannis, which means thus always to tyrants. Virginia is rooted in fighting tyranny, and it seems the modern-day citizens have not forgotten that. However, they are not on an easy road to freedom. Before I get too far into this, I want to give a huge shout out to Johnny B for helping me with this video. He's been on top of everything in Virginia and is my go-to source for info on the topic. I'll link to his channel so you guys can go subscribe. Now, the current Virginia House of Delegates has a Democratic majority. The state Senate has a Democratic majority. And the governor is a Democrat. Not only that, but I think we can all agree that the Democratic Party here in the U.S. is not necessarily a fan of gun rights. In fact, current presidential candidate Michael Bloomberg, the sort of harbinger of tyranny, has had his hands in shaping the Virginia legislature. Last summer, Governor Blackface unveiled a super aggressive plan for sweeping gun control. The House and Senate around the same time announced two separate bills with a similar agenda, stripping the rights of law-abiding citizens. For whatever reason, those bills haven't moved forward, at least until now. In November of 2019, Senate Bill 16 reared its ugly head as a sort of amalgamation of the prior attempts at gun control. And guys, it's intense. The gun grabbers are trying to prohibit the importation, sale, transfer, manufacture, purchase, possession, or transportation of assault firearms, whatever that is, and certain types of magazines. It also would prohibit carrying a shotgun that holds more than seven rounds in a public place, which is a weird thing to specifically prohibit. Not only that, but there's also another bill, Senate Bill 18, which would ban private sales entirely and raise the minimum firearm purchasing age to 21. It seems someone is importing pure concentrated moron juice from California, New York, and New Jersey and pumping it into the state legislature. Here's where things get interesting. The people have reacted to these proposed measures in a big way. The situation is constantly evolving, but right now, the best we can measure is almost 90% of the 95 counties in the Commonwealth of Virginia have declared themselves to be Second Amendment sanctuaries. Over 80 counties have had town halls or open mics, and the people have come together and almost unanimously said, we will not comply. Tazewell County, on the western edge of the state, went a bit farther. Not only did they declare themselves a sanctuary, but they've also said they will have mandatory gun safety education in county schools, and they've created an allowance for a county militia. Yep, a freaking county militia. Now, it's also important to note that these counts reported all over social media are sort of all over the place. Some are out of date and others include municipalities and cities in the count. Some cities have said no to being a sanctuary. But in large part, the bulk of the state has said yes. It's also important to note that these are resolutions put forth by the counties, not law. So I'm not really sure how these will stack up if challenged in court. Let me tell you why all of this matters. First of all, this is a loud and clear message to the anti-gunners that the people of Virginia will not comply. We are witnessing the evolution of the modern day patriot. Right now, that is happening. This is the first time in my 35 year life I've seen anything like this. It's also a bit nerve wracking because tensions are high. Folks are even saying that the big igloo is coming and it's gonna start in Virginia. And I don't think we're there yet, but if people are pushed into a corner, who knows what will come. The politicians are almost forcing the issue though. Governor Blackface is running amok simply because in Virginia, governors are on non-consecutive terms, which means he can't run again if he wanted to. And that means he's also not worried about re-election or playing it safe. He wants tyranny. U.S. Congressman from Virginia, Donald McKitchin, has even threatened the use of the National Guard against the police because, as he put it, the law is the law. I know one thing. 
turning the National Guard against the police is not going to be a good time for anyone. In fact, Culpeper County Sheriff Scott Jenkins has already declared that he will deputize thousands in his county. Sounds like the police force may be getting a lot bigger. <laughs> wow. So that brings us to the present. Everyone is on edge. Politicians are pushing tyranny and the citizens are pushing back. We're going to keep you guys up to date on this as much as possible. This is certainly not the end of this situation. Also, I know I'm always telling you guys, get involved. There are actually a couple ways to do that, even if you don't live nearby. The biggest one is to support the Virginia Citizens Defense League, or VCDL. I actually donated some dollars myself to help them fight back. Not only that, but they are having a huge rally in Richmond on January 20th, and they're busing people in from all over the state. So you can either become a member of the group and support them that way, or you could just pay for bus seats for a bunch of patriots all around the state to get to their capital. I'll put a link in the description for those that want to help. And that brings a couple questions to mind. I want to know what you guys that are out there watching think of all this. Do you think the 2A sanctuary movement has teeth? Would a county resolution hold weight in court? Do you think that this is something that would work in your state. Sound off in the comments down below and let's talk about it. Guys, this is important. Again, I wanna say a huge thank you to Johnny B for helping me put all of this together. As always, guys, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon.